Well, good morning people. Welcome to day three of our holiday, our snowballing day two. Daniel has said he is going to come out with us. Um, I don't know if you can see, maybe if I put it in the light, it is snowing. Okay, and the best thing about snow. Okay, obviously the visibility is not going to be great. Find a couple of mountain here. It's a little bit cloudy. It's not that, it's not that great. Um, but more importantly, if we look at the floor, we have snow. Not a lot, but it is still snowing. So it does mean that the peace bashers, when they finished last night, it's now got snow on top. And it also means between the runs, we've got some big pounders again. Oh yeah. Also, I have the biggest color clash ever right now as I walk to the bakery. So I have black hat, black trousers, white camo bottoms, and then orange and yellow trainers. Cause why not? Um, but yeah, we're gonna go to the bakery, we're gonna get some food, uh, bring it back, wipe Daniel up. Um, so today's gonna be like an easier day. I want to try and help Daniel a little bit. He's not really the best at taking advice and comments and critical, critical analysis? No, critical critiques. I don't know. He's not the best at taking advice. Um, but yeah, he's struggling obviously on flats because he's in a lot of flats. Um, so we're going to try and go on some big open runs and then get him to do what he needs to on them and then transfer that same skill then to the flat runs so need to get his edge in a little bit more not so much carving but just actually get the edge in so even if it's a slip side turn so we're going to work on that with him and some other little bits and pieces as well so should be good should be fun hopefully you guys might learn something if you're like newish if you're not newish, then well, just enjoy someone new trying to try and do it. You know. Um, other than that, today is looking like a very good day. A very good day indeed. Right, let's get some food. Get out of here. So we are right at the top, Mr. Daniel. Hey, Dan. <laughs> I'm effing terrified. You shouldn't be terrified, you're going to be fine, okay? There's no one else here, you've got at least 10 minutes before the chairs start getting up here. Unless there's people in this cabin, no there isn't, that's fine. I know, but this is uh, the peak. This is the peak, but it's not windy, it's nice. No, you've got no, brand new snow. Brand new snow. Brand new snow, it's going to be really nice, okay? Oh. It's a blue, so it's going to be a little bit steeper than what you're used to, okay? Yeah. And the idea, what we want, is from here to the U-bend, or from here, just short of the U-bend, for at least the next two markers, we just want to try and get some turns in, okay? They can be short, they can be big, they can be whatever you want. you just got to try, don't just ride your toe or ride your heel. Try and get some turns in, get your body loose, get feeling it, you know? That sort of thing. Okay. Because it's going to be it's different conditions, it's snowing. You've got a bit of fresh stuff on the floor, so it's going to feel a bit different. I'm stuck between putting the visor down or keeping it up. I would put it down, because otherwise if you get snow in your eye, you're going to put your hand into your eye, putting yourself off balance, and then you're going to fall over, and you're going to go, FUCKING HOLD SMASH! Down, smash. Oh. And when you get, when we get going, it's going to be windy. You're going to get wind in your eyes. True. I took my visor off yesterday at the very last bit when the sun was going down and then as soon as I started picking up speed I had to put it on because my eyes were watering. So your first two challenges before you get to that yellow and blue pole, Just to get up. no I want you to stop like this on your toe edge and then I want you to stop on your heel edge without sliding. No like this look just stand just stand. I know what you mean. So you can get up and go and stand straight away. That's it. Okay. So get get yourself out of that little groove you made. So get, do a little shuffle. And then just stop on your heel edge. Yeah? There's going to be people coming in a sec. They're probably going to go a different way. But 
just get out of that little groove that's it and now just stop on your heel edge okay that's it stop on your heels right that is how much weight you need to stop so when you need to turn you need to do more than that okay that doesn't mean move your ass backwards it means move your ass downwards okay now if you can turn onto your toe edge and then stop as well it's fine turn the board turn the board down and then stop on your toe edge that's it turn the board down the hill huh that's it go and now face me look at me look at me look at me look at me look up the hill stop don't slide right that is how much weight you need to stop so to turn you need more okay so now if we can just try and get some turns in even if you stop and then rock that's it that's it that's perfect I know that you can you can do that the whole way down and you're snowboarding not this little jumpy bit turn the board put your weight on your right foot and you'll move to the right you're okay you're fine you you've broke you know how to break already so you've got your emergency brake you know what you're doing so all you need to do now is you need to put pressure on your right foot so just put pressure on your right foot and just turn around and then look up the hill that's it then do the same thing try not to do this jumpy bit because you're cheating that's it perfect I'll move out your way that's it turn around me that's it perfect and you stopped as well that's it okay oh my god you're fine you're doing great I know it's just fucking legs feel like jelly that's fine it's because you're next to a cliff But that, that's all you're doing snowboard. No, just don't do this little jumpy bit because you're cheating. Put pressure on your right foot and turn. That's it. Keep your knees nice and flexible. That's it. Look where, look where you want to go. Keep turning the head, turn the head, turn the head, turn the head. Onto your heels. Nice, well done. That's it. Perfect, well done. Really fucking really fucking good Dan. Right, from here, stop there if you can in a sec. Right, just wait there. Okay, I want to see if, stop on your heels, stop, it gets a bit steeper, so now you're adjusting the weight you need to slow down. Right, see if you can try and follow my line, ish, yeah, just going down. So we're going to go right over here, then we're going to turn, we're going to go this way, we're going to turn, Just big open turns. That way, that way, that way, that way, that way. Keep going, keep going. Right, stop if you can. Right, turns are beautiful, shape is beautiful. What we need is we need your hips moving some more. Okay? So you need your hips moving. So if you look at your line, your... I don't know if I fucking see it. Okay, well your line is wider than your board, okay? So if your board was going in a straight line, you're that wide, right? If your board's going diagonally, you're now that wide and moving this way. Does that make sense? Or not? A little bit. 
So what you need to do is when you're on your toe edge, you need to push your hips forward some more, okay? Yeah. And what you'll find is that your your heels will come off the floor. You honestly <laughs> felt like absolute jelly. Ten out of ten. You Four. know you've done your stopping, you've done your little short turns for now, you've it's opened been, up it's the been turns. Lovely, that bit up there. Yeah, but that's that's part of snowboarding. You can't you can't just ride the same way all the time. You have to adapt to the terrain and whatever, okay? Hundred percent you're doing fucking awesome. Okay? So what I want you to try and do is when you when you turn onto your toe side, just for now on your toes, try and get your hips further forward over the board. That doesn't mean lean forward, just your hips. So like you're going for a piss. Yeah? Pretend as if you're pissing on really expensive shoes. If you're pissing on expensive shoes, what would you be doing? Aiming as far away as possible. You're fucking, your, your dick would be out in front of you and your shoulders would be back. Because you don't want to hit your shoes. We've got our first friend. Okay. Snow or ski baller? Fucking, fucking, do you know, fucking, do you know what? Make a roadblock. <laughs> <laughs> Force him out wide. <laughs> oh, it looks so silky. Yeah, your, yours is looking silky. If we can just get your edge in. Oh, come on. Okay. Oh, it's just a... Matt, is that snow on the inside or the outside? I don't know. Rub, rub the outside and you'll know. All right, so for now, what we want you to do, turn turn on your heel, turn onto your heels however you want. Okay. Turn back onto your toes. And when you get onto your toes, push those hips forward. Okay. As if you're trying to lift your heels off the floor. And what you'll feel is it will sound different, okay? Less squelchy. And you'll leave, not it's not carving, okay? But you'll leave a smaller line, like 50% of your board in the snow, okay? So I'll just sit here while you do it. So if you just, on your heel, do whatever you want, don't care, however you want to go, okay? Don't be cheating, put weight on your right foot, that's it. All right, heel however you want. That's it, and turn onto your toes. Push those hips, 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 and shoulders back. So you should just bear with the if you if you trust it, it will just turn for you. Okay. There's a big mound there. I can see it. Can't let you pass it. Yeah, but just once once you've initiated the turn, just let it happen. Okay. You only need to panic if you're still turning and you get towards the edge. Fuck it, let's go. With something you're going to need, because as it gets steeper, you're going to need to do it. Just nice turn. And then sit down, sit, get lower. Okay. You, you're going to need to get lower as you turn onto your heels. Doesn't want to listen. Now you have to do tighter turns, okay? So turn, and then as soon as you finish that one, start the next one. When we go down this hill, there's a left-hand turn, and then there's some jumps. Well, they're not jumps, but they're like bumps, yeah? Ideally, what you want to be doing 
is using what we've just taught you about getting your edge in to ride sitting down like that on your heel edge and then braking when you need to. So from here, put down as many turns as you want. You want to sit on an edge. It's going to be your toe edge going around the U-bend. And then you want to just stack it and build up speed to go over the first jump. When you get over the first one, have a little break as in like a, a, a pedal break and then over the next one, okay? You're not going to go flying, you're not going to get airborne because you're going to lose so much speed when you go uphill. Okay? You want me to go first or you want to go? Cut the corner a bit tight there, I think. I couldn't see the ridge. Oh. Oh. Pick yourself up, come on. This is what I'm in. Poor pockets is shit. I'll take it off if you want, but. Literally couldn't fucking see that at all. That's fine. Just try, just try and use the poles and stay sort of central to them if you can uh you're gonna go right down to you see there's a little circle disc looks like a stop sign yeah you're gonna go down to there but there's like two or three whoops jumps on the way yeah i know but i've got nowhere to go okay so lean on your left foot and slide over to the left and then stop and then lean on your right foot and do your normal turn. Just bring it back to your level two, yeah? So lean on your left foot, stay on your toe side, lean on your left foot, left, 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 shift your hips over. Oh no, you're not doing it, you're, you're jumping. Fuck off! Can you just stay down, please? Well, no, in case you fall off a cliff, Dan. No, because I'm going to need to turn that way. Okay. It's uh, all the little bumps when you can't see. If you sit down and you board, if you flex your knees a bit, you'll just sort of roll over them. Or is you quite straight legged to so like a car with no suspension you've got this you're doing it you just just need to remember the basics a little bit okay so try and just try and flex your knees as a start even if you just carry on doing your own thing but just sit down just a little bit on the board because if there's any bumps underneath this if you're straight legged if you're the car with no suspension you get unseated yeah Whereas if you've got a little bit of flex in your knees, your knees will straighten, but then you're still, you're okay, yeah? Make sense? And if you stick your hand out in front of you, it shows where you're going. Yeah? Make sense? Like an indicator. Fuck off! Two things are, one, you ain't got enough weight on your right foot, which is causing you to kick your left foot out. I'm having to kick my left foot out because I've got no fucking momentum to turn. Okay, so let's work on that. To get momentum, you need to put... You get in there and it's just like... Yeah, to get stop. momentum, you need to put weight on your right foot. No, that's wrong. Okay. One right foot, for me, would mean I'm breaking. No, right. All right, stop. One second. Stand, stand still. Okay. If you shift your hips on your left side, you will go across the slope that way, level two. Across the slope, straight that way. If you put your hips on your right side, or your weight on your right foot, across your right foot, not your toe or your heel, you will go directly that way.
So the same here, if you put your weight on your right foot, you won't actually turn off the cliff, you'll just go down straight. down this bit here and we're turning right okay if you do you want to stop uh, can you stop for a sec Good, just a good break. So your edge there isn't in, yeah? Do you know what I mean? Put more weight on your toes. Dan? I'm just going to struggle later on. <laughs> 